In this video, we're going to look at the four basic systems of arithmetic with fractions. Let's get started. We're going to start with addition. This is actually one of the more complicated ones. So, what we have to remember is that we want to make the denominator, that is, the number on the bottom of each of the fractions, be the same. The simplest way of doing this is simply to multiply them by each other. So here, we're going to multiply the 5 by 4, and in order to do that, we need to multiply the top by 4 as well. We're going to multiply the 4 by 5, and we're going to multiply the top by 5. So what we're doing here is multiplying the left-hand fraction by 4 on the top and 4 on the bottom, and the right-hand fraction by 5 on the top and 5 on the bottom. So on the top, for the left, we get 8, on the bottom we get 20, plus on the right we get 5, and on the bottom we get 20. We now have 8 twentieths plus 5 twentieths, which very simply makes 13 twentieths. For a subtraction, it's exactly the same thing. All we're going to do here is we're going to think about what we're going to multiply the top and bottom by in order to get the same number on these. Now in this particular one, what we can do is if we multiply the right-hand fraction by 2 on the top and bottom, what this is going to do is give us 5 sixths minus 4 over 6. So we've got 5 sixths minus 4 sixths, which is 1 sixth. So subtraction is very straightforward once we know how to do the addition. Multiplication is actually the easiest one. Here all we're going to do is we're going to multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. So 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 3 is 15, and that's all we have to do, 8 fifteenths. Division is also very easy, as long as we won't learn one little trick. All we need to do is to think about this as being 4 over 5, and instead of divide, we're actually going to do a multiply and turn the fraction upside down. So 2 thirds becomes 3 over 2. Now, as with the previous multiplication, we're just going to multiply the two top numbers, multiply the two bottom numbers. So this becomes 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10, and because 12 and 10 can both be divided by 2, we'll cancel this down to give 6 over 5. You may, of course, want to turn that into 1 and 1 fifth to make it into a mixed number rather than a top-heavy fraction. That's all.